Well, it's probably obvious to most of you that I'm a farmer. That's essentially what I do. I farm. <laughs> Believe it or not, I have not farmed that long. I've only been a farmer about two years. I, uh, I've been an urban guy my whole life. I always lived, I lived in New York, Los Angeles. I lived in San Francisco for a while. And you know, I was coming on 50 and I said, you know what, to hell with this. I'm gonna go back to Midwest where I'm from. I'm gonna get myself a farm. You know? Well, I'll be honest. I don't even know how I got a farm. My credit score is six. I had to use my Speedway points on my financial statement. <laughs> so I get this farm, and I don't know how many of you here have ever lived rural or in the country, but Jesus, it, it is creepy out there. If you're not, it is creepy. They'll tell you, at night, sun goes down, pitch black. Did you know that night, possum, Walking through a cornfield sounds exactly like three men with an ax. Yeah, 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 yeah. And what kind of owl makes this sound? You're gonna die. I kid you not, I am not making this up. My place is so far out there, Domino's Pizza will not deliver to me. I've never even heard of anything. Like, I call Domino's now, oh, we don't come that far. You're gonna have to drive up Newmarket Community Center. Pull in the parking lot, flash your lights, we'll meet you, like it's a drug deal. <laughs> do, do you have the pizza? Yes, do you have the money? Of course I got the fucking money! <laughs> Did anyone follow you here? They all drive tractors, for Christ's sakes! <laughs> I lived out there for a month before I figured out that red stick on my mailbox wasn't a country 911 system. I, <laughs> It is not easy. I'm gonna make it work. I don't give a, I'm not, I, you know, livestock, that's my dream, livestock, man. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, people think it's easy, you read up on it and it's, no, uh-uh. My first deal, I got ripped off. <laughs> I bought a herd of black Angus hogs, right? <laughs> I thought they looked short coming off the truck. <laughs> Pygmy cattle my ass. I've tried growing crops, but you'd find more cornrows on an NFL team than I could pull off my land. So, so I called Mr. Grimes. He's the county ag agent for my county, you know, like the Mr. Kimball dude, right? And I call him, he comes out, you know, takes soil samples, talks to me extensively about my background. Well, he tells me the best thing for me to plant is a for sale sign in the front yard. <laughs> it is not easy, my friend, on the farm. Do you have any idea what well water does to highlights? Do you have any? You don't. Uh... <laughs> you know, I knew it was going to be hard. When I first moved out there, Six barn cats I had. Six barn cats. I have one left. <laughs> one. Ladies and gentlemen, do you have any idea how hard you have to work to kill a fucking barn cat? <laughs> the most hardy, tenacious, feral some bitch that ever walked the planet? <laughs> Nothing kills them. You run over them with a pickup truck and they just meh. <laughs> I managed to kill them all, but one. You know why? I got too disconnected from nature. All that urban living, well, that's changed. You know, I've been out there a year and a half. I'm in the swing of things, buddy. I'm up every morning, 10.30, 11 o'clock, hell or high water. <laughs> I mean, I've heard rumors of, rumors of farmers that are up at something like 4 a.m. <laughs> but see, that's what that meth does to you. And I'm no different 
than any other Ohio farmer. We all do it the same. Get up every morning, we take off our sleep mask and <laughs> we pull our little silk kimonos tight against the cold and make some strong coffee. Most farmers, we get ambient hallucinations. And, uh, <laughs> So for the first few months I was out there, I thought, well, I'm going to treat these six barn cats like practice livestock. That's what I'll do. That'll be my chore. So I'd feed them out there in the barn. Well, after a few months, this got older. I thought, you know what? Screw this. The cats can come halfway up the damn house. So I'd toss the food in the yard, and I'd go sit on the porch, you know, and have my coffee. And I'd watch this red-tailed hawk, beautiful red-tailed hawk lives out there. And I'd watch it. Oh, he's pretty. I wonder what they eat. Jesus, that cat can fly! 